Hello, we're going to look at the regulation of a natural monopoly. So a natural monopolist faces an inverse demand of P equals 200 minus Q. And the natural monopolist has a cost function of the following. We want to find the profit maximizing price, quantity, and profit. And then we're going to get into the regulation part. So profit is revenues minus cost. So the revenue is price times quantity. Price is 200 minus Q. So I got 200 minus Q and then that's multiplied by Q. And then I just subtract out the cost equation. We're going to take the derivative of the profit function with respect to Q, the quantity of output, and set that derivative equal to zero. So we get 200 Q and that's just 200. And then we get minus q squared, and the derivative of minus q squared is just minus 2q. Derivative, derivative of minus 591 is 0, and the derivative of minus 20q is minus 20. We'll solve this for q. So 2q equals 180, dividing through by 2, q equals 90. To get the price, we'll take this 90 and plug it into the inverse demand. So price equals 200 minus Q, where Q is 90, so the price is $110. To calculate the profit, we'll just take the firm's profit function and plug in 90 for Q. Doing that, this firm has the following profit, $7,509. All right, uh, now we're going to look at if the government institutes marginal cost pricing, what is the price, output level, and profit? So with marginal cost pricing, price will equal marginal cost. We need to get the marginal cost equation. So take the derivative of the cost equation with respect to quantity, and we get 20. So the price will equal $20 in this case. And when price is 20, so take the inverse demand and set P equal to 20. We'll solve for Q. The firm will sell 180 units. And to calculate the profit with marginal cost pricing, take this Q equals 180 and plug it into the profit function. And we see that the firm would be making an economic loss. And that's one of the problems with marginal cost pricing and why it would seldom be used because in many cases the firm would be making an economic loss and no firm wants to make an economic loss forever. Uh, otherwise, a firm would leave the market, exit the industry. All right, let's go to the next type of regulation. Uh, the government institutes average cost pricing, or sometimes called normal rate of return pricing. What is the price, output level, and profit? Just rewriting our inverse demand and cost equations. First thing we need to get is average cost, which is the cost equation divided through by Q. And I'll simplify down to the following. Next thing we'll do is set price equal to average cost. That's what average cost pricing is. Guarantees the firm a normal rate of return, economic profit of zero. So price is 200 minus Q. And we set that equal to average cost. And we're going to uh, well, I'll subtract 20 from both sides here at first. So subtracting 20 from both sides, we get this. And then I'm going to multiply both sides through by Q. So multiplying both sides through by Q, we get 180Q minus Q squared. And then the Qs cancel on the right-hand side. And simplifying or just moving some things around here, we have this. And we're going to use the quadratic formula to solve for Q. Here is the quadratic formula. So then we plug um, our results into the quadratic formula. So B is minus 180. A is 1, the coefficient in front of the Q squared, and C is 591. Simplifying further, we get this result. Simplifying some more. Q equals 176.65 or Q equals 3.35. We're going to ignore this. The, the government planners would, would prefer the higher level of output, which would be associated at a, at a lower price. So ignoring this uh, 3.35. And lastly, let's get the price. We will take this 
176.65 and plug into average cost. Doing that, we get a price of $23.35. And profit will be zero because price equals the cost per unit average cost. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.